Hi, welcome to my video and find an equation of a line using the slope of a parallel line. And this is part two. <clears throat> part one was done in the previous video. Find the equation using parallel lines. Let's do some examples and then I have some for you to do. Find the equation of a line parallel to y equals 4x minus 3 and the same uh, y-intercept as y equals negative x plus 5 and find it in slope y-intercept form. Well, parallel to this line, the slope is 4. The same y-intercept as this line, that means the y-intercept is going to be plus 5. Because both of these forms are y equals mx plus b. Or m is the slope, which is 4. Slope is negative 1. Y-intercept is negative 3. Y-intercept is 5. But we got this parallel to this one. So the slope of this one is 4. So the parallel line has a slope of 4 because parallel lines have equal slopes. So the new equation that we're talking about is y equals 4x plus 5. A combination of these two. Number 2. Find the equation parallel to this line and the same y-intercept as this one in the slope y-intercept form. So parallel to this one, which means we'll take this equation and we'll solve it for y. y equals mx plus b. So the 2x moves to the left side to become a negative. Divide all terms by 8 and we get a negative 1 over 4x plus 3. Notice 2 and the 2 goes 1, 2 and 4, 2 and 8 goes 4. And the same y-intercept as this one. So the fastest way to get a y-intercept is to let x equal 0. So if we let x equal 0 in this equation, and when we solve for y, we will get Notice, letting y equals 0, divide by negative 6, so y is negative 2. So it's parallel to this one, so the slope of this line is negative 1 quarter, so the parallel slope is the same, negative 1 quarter. So the equation has this slope, and it has this y-intercept, y equals mx plus b, so it's negative 1 quarter x minus 2 is the equation of this line. A, a quick, another quick way, even though I let x equal 0 and sub it in and work this through perfect, some students or teachers say, if you want to find a y-intercept, this is going to equal 0. So this is going to disappear because of 6 times 0. So some people just do cross that out and then divide by negative 6 right away and they'll get y equals negative 2. That's just even faster. C, a line through these two points is going to be parallel to this line to these two points having the same x-intercept as this line. So, parallel to those two, well, let's write down those, the line going through those two points. Call this one x1, y1, x2, y2. The slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 10 minus 1, y1 is 1, x2 is negative 1, subtract 2, and that gives me a 9 on the top, negative 3 on the bottom, so the slope is negative 3. So if the slope of that line is negative 3, the slope of the parallel line is negative 3. And has the same x-intercept as this one. So the same x-intercept, so let's see, 3x plus 2y equals 12. And again, we want to, we want to get an x-intercept, we let y equal 0. And this is the same as we did just then, only the opposite intercept, the other intercept. This becomes a 0, so 3x equals 12, so divide by 3, so x is 4. So that's your x-intercept. So we want it in the slope x-intercept form. So 
we have y equals negative 3x minus 4. And that's the x-intercept form. And the x-intercept form is, or factored form, is m times x minus r. So that's, and again, right here, if I want the x-intercept, I can just cross out the y and say 3x is 12. So divide by 3 and I get the 4. Let's continue. Find the equation of a line parallel to this one, D. Parallel to this one, having the same y-intercept as this one in standard form. Okay, parallel to this one. So if it's parallel to that one, that's the point-slope form. The point is negative 1 and 4, and the slope of this line is 2. So the parallel slope is also 2. Because parallel lines have the same slope. The same y-intercept. How do you get a y-intercept? You let x equals 0. So if I write down the equation, there it is. And I let x equal 0. And in math, we do bed math, we do inside the brackets first, which is a negative 2. We multiply next to get 8. And y equals 8 minus 3, so y is 5. So the slope is 2, and the y-intercept is 5. That means the equation is y equals 2x plus 5, because I'm writing it in y equals mx plus b, the slope y-intercept form. And we want standard form, so I'll move the x over to make a negative x plus y equals 5. And in standard form, we're not supposed to have the a negative, so we multiply all sides by negative 1. We're going to multiply each side by negative 1, and that gives me 2x minus y equals negative 5 as the standard form. E, parallel to this line through this point in point slope form. Well, we have the point that it's going through, we just need the slope. Well, to get the slope of this line, we want to get rid of the fractions. So let's see, let's look for the LCD. And the LCD, let's see, we have a 6, a 9, and a 3. So a 6 is 2 times 3. A 9 is 3 times 3, which is 3 squared, and we have a 3. So when we're doing the LCD, like the least common multiple, we write down each factor of, we write down a 2 and a 3, and we pick the highest exponent of each factor. So the highest exponent of 3 is 2, and 2 is all alone, so that's 2 times 9, 18 is the LCD. That means we multiply this fraction by 3 over 3, we, if we want to get fractions, we can see that 6 goes into 18 3 times, 9 goes into 18 twice, and 3 goes into 18 6. So that is an LCD. Each one of these numbers, 6, 9, and 3, are factors of 18. So let's multiply both sides by 18. There we go. And if you want, you can go 18 times 1 sixth, 18 times 1 ninth y. So I'm multiplying 18 by every, not only did I multiply each side by 18, I'm multiplying every term by 18. 6 and 18 goes 3, so it gives me 3x. 9 and 18 goes 2, so it gives me 2y. 3 and 18 goes 6, it gives me negative 12. Now I'm looking for the slope, so I'm going to solve it for y. y equals negative 3x plus 12. Move the x over, make a minus. Divide each side, all the term, each side by 2, or all the terms by 2. That cancels out. y, that gives you a 1. Negative 3 over 2x plus 6. So the slope of this line is y equals mx plus b. The slope is negative 2 thirds. So the Slope of the parallel line is negative 3 over 2, I meant to say, through a point. So if it's going through that point, so the point is negative 6, 4, and the slope is negative 3 over 2. So 
point slope form is y minus 4, negative 3 over 2 times x plus 6. And that's in the point slope form, which is, just to review, y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1. Okay, now we have practice. Practice means I did some, or you could have did them before me. Now, if you want, you can pause your video and work all of these out to see if you're right. Do one at a time and check it back to play it. See if you're right. Here we go. Find the equation of a line parallel to this one. So parallel to this one means the slope is negative 5. So the parallel line has a slope of negative 5. Same y-intercept as this one. So the y-intercept is v for this line is negative 3. So we have this slope with this y-intercept. So y equals negative 5x minus 3. It's the equation of the line that satisfies these conditions. Number two, parallel to this line. And the same y-intercept as this one. So if it's parallel to this one, so let's solve this equation for y. Solving for y gives me y equals mx plus b. Move the x over mega minus, divide by negative 12. There we go. That's a y, and that's 1 over 3x minus 1. So the slope of this line is 1 third. So the slope of the parallel line is 1 third. And the same y-intercept as this. So let's do it fast. To get a y-intercept, we let x equal 0. Again, I can cross that out, but not to do it too fast. There's the equation. I'm going to, if I let uh, y-intercept let x equal 0 and cross that out. So putting a 0 in there gives me 0. So I divide by negative 5. So y is negative 6. So it has this slope with this y-intercept. So y equals 1 third x minus 6. Again, to get an intercept, the fast way is let the other variable be 0. In other words, you can cross it out. Number 3, a line through these two points parallel to this line with the same x-intercept as this one. So let's write down the two points so we can see what we're doing. There's the two points. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. So the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that's negative 8 is y2 minus y1 is 2. And it's negative 6 is x2 minus negative 3. Negative 8 subtract 2 is negative 10. Double negative is a positive. So that's negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So that slope is 10 over 3. So the parallel line has a slope of 10 over 3. We have the slope. Same x-intercept. So the same x-intercept, we let y equal 0. So in this equation, I can put 0 in here. But 3 times 0 is 0, so I can cross that out. So 4x equals negative 20, divide by 4. So x is negative 5. And we have a same x-intercept. So that x, we want the point slope form. So the x-intercept is the point negative 5, comma, 0. So the point is y minus 0. And the slope is 10 over 3 and x plus 5. That's the point slope form. <clears throat> really, this equation, that is officially the point slope form. But if you put down y equals all of this, then we have no y coordinates. So therefore, officially, it's not the point slope form. If you omit it to 0, you would have the uh, x-intercept form. And number four, parallel to this line with the same x-intercept as this one in slope x-intercept form. So parallel to that means that the slope of this line is 1 over 7 because this is the x 
uh, the x, the slope x intercept form or a factored form. So the slope so is one over seven. Parallel line has a slope of one over seven, and it's the same x intercept as this one. So the x intercept is when you let y equal zero. So if we put a zero in the place of y. Man, I could cross it out, but I, you got to put a zero in the place of y, because if you cross it out, there'll be nothing there, so you got to put a zero in. So negative 2x equals negative 12, divide by negative 2, so x is 6. So the x-intercept is 6, so we want it in um, slope x-intercept form or factored form, so y equals slope is 1 over 7, and x minus 6 is that form factored form or slope x-intercept so the x-intercept is six slope is one over seven let's continue find the equation of a line parallel to this line and the same y-intercept as this one well let's see notice i have a more variables here now so to find the slope of this line, I have to solve it for y. So let's see, y stays on the left, negative 5x, bring the 3x over to negative minus. I get a negative 3, bring the negative 1 over to negative plus 1. And I simplify the right side, negative 8x minus 2. So now notice I'm solving it for y. And I now divide all terms by 2. I get y equals negative 1 quarter x minus 1. So the slope of that line is negative 4. So the parallel slope, the line, the parallel slope is negative 4 because parallel lines have equal slopes. And it's the same y-intercept as this one. So y minus 7 equals negative 5 outside of x plus 2. And we got the same y-intercept. We let x equal 0. We want a y-intercept. And we solve this out. So we get negative 5. And that's 0 plus 2 is 2. So y minus 7 equals negative 10. y equals negative 10 plus 7. So y equals negative 3. So by letting x equal 0, the y-intercept is negative 3. And we want it in standard form. So y equals, let's write it in, if that's the y-intercept, this is the slope y-intercept form, so standard form. Put it in slope y-intercept form first, which is y equals mx plus b. That's a b. My b is negative 3. My m is negative 4. Now we want standard, so 4x plus y equals negative 3. Standard is ax plus by equals c, where a is not allowed to be negative and no fractions or decimals. And let's do number 6. Parallel to this line through this point in point slope form. We have our point. We need the slope. So let's find the LCD. The LCD for 15, 10, and 6. Well, 15 got 3 times 5. 10 got 2 times 5, and 6 got 2 times 3. I need one of each factor. I need a 2, I need a 3, and I need a 5. And the highest exponent of any one of those is a 1. So 2 times 15, so the LCD is 30. So I'm going to multiply. To get rid of the fractions, I'm going to multiply both sides by 30. And that will have no fractions left. And if you want, put 30 times each term. I could have did that. I could have multiplied 30 by each one of these right away, which would have been quicker. I wouldn't have to write it down twice. 15 to 30 goes 2. So that's a 4x. That's a 2. 10 into 30 goes 3. So that's negative 3y. 6 into 30 goes 5. So the 25. Now I solve for y, because I'm going to write it in slope y-intercept form. 
So solve it. Um, I have minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. So y equals, that cancels out, and I get 4 over 3x minus 25 over 3. And I have a slope of that line is 4 over 3. And the parallel line has a slope of 4 over 3. And the point that is going through is negative 3, negative 10, with the slope of 4 over 3. And I want it in point slope form. So y plus 10. We change the signs. Slope 4 over 3. We change the sign when we put the point into the point slope form. Again, working out the LCD. 30 is an LCD, so I showed you how to work it out pre in previous videos. And finding the LCD, at least common multiple, is the same as the LCD with fractions. And brings us to the end. If you like my video, click the like button. Click the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And the notification bell, because there's more videos coming your way. You may write a comment on my video if you wish. And visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com. And you have three sections. One on me, talks about my degrees in teaching experience. Section on videos, talks about the strategies you're going to use to help you learn your math. And the section on content has the topics on my YouTube channel, the number of videos on each of those topics. And the black font is what's online right now. And the red font will be what's there in the near future. Thank you very much for viewing my video. Bye-bye.